A Dialogue with the Eerie Sublime is the second full-length album from Vertebra Atlantis. Uh, this is a Lombardy, Italy-based black death metal band, and one that we can, could consider atmospheric, and I would say certainly uh, avant-garde in some slight sense in terms of just using uh, dissonance in a unique way at times, but also uh, atmospheric would do it for the most part as in approach of their first record. Uh, Lestral Purge in Cer Cerulean Bliss was a record that kind of came out later on in 2021. I didn't spend quite as much time as... With it as I'd wanted to, but it had a, a uniquely sort of heady psychedelic feeling to it, as well as some uh, discordant uh, groups that r would probably re remind most people of uh, late 90s emulation, early 2000s as well. As well as uh, the uh, they were often accused of having some emperor influence, and I think that makes plenty of sense when you go back to it but it was more of a death metal record and uh overall it had kind of a, a dirtier sound it, it was uh brutal but not uh, not in a repetitive way there was a very surreal drift to that record and that was uh, pretty well embodied uh and described by the imagery and the uh the titles of everything it made a lot of sense but it kind of just passed me by so uh, revisiting it for this review was good because it, I got to see a little bit more of the bones of that record, which probably had a little bit more to do with Gorgots than I, I recalled. And uh, also uh, contrasts to the style of the black metal that they've infused into this record, which has a little bit more of a progressive death metal touch to it, as well as more things like keyboards and uh, a more theatric cadence to the uh, the, the the rhythms in general. I think they've paid a lot of attention to the rhythms on this record to make sure they're varietal and expansive in telling a story. So let's uh, cut into a track here just to get a sense of how it feels to be in the midst of this record. <laughs> So there was something kind of brazen and aggressive and uh, downward churning about that first record. And on this second record, there's a, a more of a regal and Pyrian touch to it. And this sort of journey towards uh, firmament and, uh, again, the dialogue with the sublime that is essentially narrated here uh, is deeply introspective and uh, feel inspired by phil philosophical concepts. Uh, but we feel that in a more natural way this time around. I think the compositions are both more detailed and uh, more expressive. I think that the vocals are quite intensely expressive at times. And I think that the addition of keyboards and the way they use them is more varietal, a little bit more interesting. And every song has its own mood and presentation that feels bespoke and unique per the moment and the depiction involved. So there's this... You know, I hate to always uh, consider these uh, records cinematic in a sense, but, you know, cinema is a quite a broad thing, and the story they tell here is quite grand. I think that it, the, uh, the album art does a good job of presenting a glimpse of the scale of the events in some sense, and the individual undergoing whatever, whatever they are. So this record, it, it feels like it's connecting in terms of telling a story and it's building up to this big event. You can see, you can feel the ambitions of it working through. And, uh, that means there's a bit of a trip here. There's, uh, definitely you can feel the separation between side A and side B as things get build up to a certain intensity and fall off and then build back up to a certain intensity and then plateau. And that plateau is sort of this swans like final song that's, uh, really impressive it features the vocalist of assumption and bottomless uh showing another side to his voice uh which is surprising and, and really impressive so um overall i think that trying to sum this record becomes more difficult the more i think about it especially doing it off the top of my head because uh you know one moment you're thinking about gorgut's the next emperor and then you're off somewhere entirely different and I think the thing that I would note is that I can definitely feel the compositional hand of Grimalia in this work, um, 
especially after I paid so much attention to the last several Cosmic Putrefaction albums. And I think there's something similarly uh, vital to this work where it is uh, engaging and brutal in a sense, but probably more dramatic with its hand on, on this record where uh, it isn't quite such a trail of destruction, but exploration and uh, sort of upward looking and seeking. And I think that really matches the tone of the record and the uh, the vocal the lyrics especially. So Anyway, I, there's a lot to take in here, and I think that if you just uh, judge this record in one pass, you're really missing out on a lot of really intelligent nuance. And I think this one's a little bit more of a grower, even though uh, the first couple songs are snappy and aggressive enough that you'll probably get into it. But the f the the full breadth of the album becomes quite broad, even for its its fairly reasonable playing time. And so. This one really benefited from a lot more attention and time. I took a couple extra days to really think about it and sit with it and soak it in a little bit more. And uh, the lyrics are, are pretty well written in terms of conveying uh, the evolution of the mind in colorful language. So there's uh, there's a lot to, to eventually get around to if you like those sorts of details. So this gets a pretty high score for me. It's a very high recommendation. Uh, one of my higher recommendations of the month among, you know, a lot of really great records in October. And I think that this one will stand the test of time better than some things. I might've even rated it higher because I think there's some depth to it. I think there's uh, some, uh, it's one of those bands where I think I'll, I'll appreciate them more as their discography grows. If they continue to extend, uh, their, their, their narrative in, in this type of way, because this is pretty ideal. You know, throw in a beautiful album cover, a uh, really impressive uh, color scheme and all that, and uh, just a great sounding record with a, a unique touch to its its timber overall. And uh, again, very high recommendation and something you should check out if you're looking for something that not everyone else is, is uh, really talking about at, at this time. So uh, that came out last week, and uh, you should uh, check out the review and uh, read more details if you're into it. 